years ago, our son uh, was diagnosed with high-functioning autism. Uh, and when that happened to us, we were just devastated. And we found that in Columbus, Ohio, there were no resources at that time. Uh, autism, 14 years ago, was a very rare disorder. In fact, one in 10,000 uh, children was diagnosed at that point. Now it's one in 110 children, one in 70 boys. With those kind of numbers, you can just expect that there's going to be a lot more talk about it. There's going to be a lot more um, uh, available resources. The phone calls that I receive, uh, many of those people are feeling just as I did 14 years ago when I first got the diagnosis. They're really um, mourning the fact that their child is, and the dreams that they had for that child may not be realized. And so it's a scary time, and it's a time that they really, that you really need somebody who is going to tell you things get a lot better and there are, uh, is an army of people who are out there ready to help. And that's one of the things that I always try to remember um, is to be very positive about it because I think we have every reason to believe that we're going to find some remedies in the not too distant future that are going to help a lot of our children. We purposely didn't want to have a building <laughs> because we think that the, there's two existing institutions that uh, really are functioning fine. I, I think one of the advantages that we'll have not having a, a real uh, you know, bricks and mortar type uh, facility is that all the money can go to uh, research, which we have talked to many of the, the uh, individuals who would like to uh, participate in some of the research and they're, they're very ready to go and have proposals ready and I th we think the collaboration between the two institutions will be very important to uh, finding a cure, as Marcy said, or at least mitigating the symptoms of autism. With the resources at Ohio State and the uh, Nationwide Children's, uh, it's a natural uh, collaboration. And um, even at Ohio State, uh, some of the areas such as the College of Education, Children's uh, Hospital, the, uh, the research institutes yeah. at both uh, organizations, the law school, it yeah. just goes on and on. The music department, um, the speech and hearing, uh, it, it it's just goes on and on. And there's, there's a lot of synergies between the two institutions that uh, should be taken advantage of. We intend to go out and talk to other people about what we're doing. We hope that they will join us in our effort. We want to grow this fund. We want to make this the number one autism center in the United States.